What's up? What's up? What's up? We're in. We're together live in the bunker. We are. Shall we do the reveal? Let's do it. All right. Hey. It's hey. Be- it's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's new. This is my boy Ray Ray. What's up? This is my boy Joel. And we are the Tittle Cast behind yeah, yeah. the board today. It's gonna be DJ Cecil. What's up? And uh, yeah. he, yeah, he ain't yeah. mic'd up right now. But Not right now. He's, Not yet. He's showing love. So, this is a good setup, man. I yeah. like, I like this. This is like a, looks like, and it feels like it is. It's like a legit recording studio. Yeah, I it's mean, so it's close. Man. Yeah, it, nah, it is. It's, it's fucking sick, dude. It's the chill. It's got, it's got the wow factor. Yeah, uh, man. As garages go. Yes, sir. Not just cars and junk like mine. Jesus. Ah, uh, dude. No, it's a constant battle just to keep fucking boxes and shit out of here, dude. Because it's a garage. That's what you do with the garage. Yeah. <sighs> so, uh... This one's so going to drop Friday, right? Yeah, this Friday. This Friday? Okay. <sighs> so, what are we, uh... So, we're going to talk about, um... Yeah. So, the last episode, I was kind of, we were kind of ending... That one, I was a little... I think I was a little wired on caffeine that night. Yeah. I was, uh... I listened whenever I was uh, posting it. I kind of listened to it and I was like, oh, shit. And I was so I cut back on the caffeine today for this. <laughs> it's not trying to go off on tangents, but Scientology, though, I've been kind of always been fascinated. And I always like play this game with my wife. I'm like, man, oh, that actor, you know, he's a Scientologist. Or she, she's like, do you know all the Scientologists that are in? Mo-? I was like, yeah, I do. And some of them are crazy, like some of them that you would never think, like the guy from um, uh, Ant-Man, the guy with the accent. The, the Hispanic guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't think of his name, but he's Scientologist as well. And I was like, "What the fuck?" And I started reading about him, and and then I just started going down the rabbit hole, just getting looking into the church again. Dude, I think there's a degree of narcissism associated with, like, I, I don't know, the belief that you could fucking know any of that kind of shit for sure at this point you know what i mean like the argument of faith in general not just scientology oh just like like altogether faith yeah like you have to basically you're basically trying to convince yourself that something you have no way of knowing is true is true and that there's a method for that i guess if you break it down in dark (laughs) dark ass fucking terms i mean (laughs) some people just like to go to church and you know praise and worship and yeah i get the fellowship you know but i think a lot of people are going for that and then they're just but i mean i don't know how everybody everybody grows up different i mean basic american quote-unquote life like white america you know is you grow up with your family you go to church on sundays you know after school activities but for the most part you always go to church on sundays that's how i was raised so it's not even like a question it's like oh yeah this is this is what we believe it's kind of like pressed upon you and then with it starts coming all of the hellfire and all those things but then when you get in your 20s that's when you start like oh shit like what does this all really mean and that's when it all starts getting different and some people don't ever have that experience i don't think i i I think i started with the hellfire really yeah like early on i had found out about exorcism and i the book of revelations that there's a yeah. storm going on by the way i, I don't yeah, think you can is. hear that did i yeah did, did you see that lightning coming in it was drizzling as i was coming through yeah yeah well so uh sorry i lost my spot no you were you were just <laughs> you were talking about uh you were talking about how um jesus what were you saying <laughs> <laughs> no you were talking about how um you were like real interested in like the exorcists and revelations and the hellfire at oh when yeah, you first yeah, yeah. Started. yeah yeah dude and so like i wanted that like i wanted i want to i want like i wanted to be rambo in that fight like you know like yeah. some kids want to be like rambo some kids want to be a football star you know yeah. i wanted to be an exorcist <laughs> no shit for real <laughs> yeah dude that's crazy so. so did you get into the like researching it and all that actually pursuing it uh, no, yeah um i just you know the whole celibacy thing i think like as soon as i found out about that like it was like a couple years later it was like from like age 10 to 12 or something yeah and i was like oh celibacy 
I was like, that's not going to work for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was 12, but I knew like what I needed in the world, you know? Yeah. There's certain pleasures you got to have yeah. in life. I, I had been knowing that I needed uh, uh, sweet loving, sweet loving, sweet, sweet loving. <laughs> no, but just even, even. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to mass. I want some ass. I want oh, some shit. ass. <laughs> That's good, man. Oh, dude, that pretty much summed up it, everything we just said in the last five minutes. I think. So, have you ever like looked into L. Ron Hubbard, the the mastermind behind Scientology? Uh, y- yeah, you posted something on him as well the other day, right? Yeah, but there's like, uh, if you like, just read his wiki page. Like, man, he's got, like, ties with Anton LaVey and, like, bu- you know, before, like, all these crazy things. Well, he had said before, like, he had ever started Scientology that he wanted to start a religion. Yeah, he was, like, but he was also a liar. Like, he was, like, an atheist, like, before it all, right? Oh, yeah, he was definitely. And then he lied about his, uh, his, you know, his Navy history. Like, he said he gotten all these awards and done all these accolades, and it turned out. He didn't do a quarter of them. Like he didn't do any. He wasn't like decorated or anything like that. The m- the mental gymnastics that you have to do to freaking uh, oh I I get you another one if you need one. Oh minute. no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, all right. Uh, the mental gymnastics that you have to do, like in order to, I don't know, go from being an atheist to actually believing that shit. I don't think he ever actually. I don't think believed he believed it. it. I, well. I mean, I don't know. I I would want to talk to him, but I think it started off maybe with I think he wanted to be some sort some sort of famous. That's what I got from it. He wanted to like be a very important person in like history, which would he's but he also he was a science fiction novelist. Like I think he holds a Guinness World Record for most uh books written. Most bo- oh that's right yeah. like seven thousand books it's right like maybe more maybe ten or something like that but Holy he's shit. It, the numbers are up there but like he just with it started with Dianetics so he wrote so I wanted before you go on well finish your idea no no, no no I just I'm like we had when we first started talking about doing Scientology I told you that I had a question about Dianetics I think I mentioned it yes, in the last yeah, yeah, episode yeah yeah you did yeah and like so. It's kind of a long, drawn-out story. I was obsessed with secret societies, uh, like, in my mid-20s. And <coughs> I, I even got involved in a couple. Uh, one of them turned out to be, like, an art project masquerading as a secret society, which was oh, really what the weird. Fuck? Yeah. Uh, but, <sighs> uh, but, yeah, and so a, a lot of that led me into researching uh, Dianetics because, in many cases, the 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 perceived guru you know had some hold or something to do with the teaching of dianetics okay Re- regardless of whether it was associated with scientology or not it was just like a good it was a good thing to throw into a narrative yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so what is dianetics like i've always wondered why that was tied into the secret societies i was looking at in particular the art project and uh the rosicrucian yeah so the Dianetics book that he wrote, let me look it up real quick. That's all right. I can sing while we're at it. Dianetics. I'm loving like the bass on this new board, man. Man, this is, you got a fucking stude. I'm jealous. I want to, God damn it. I'm so glad that you brought that shore mic. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and an excellent engineer. Man. <laughs> Doing work back here on the fucking ones and twos. Ooh. I think he's. I think he's <laughs> tweeting about this. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, dude. I'm going to need you uh, need to get you uh, logged into. Yeah, I'll get you some ass too, but <laughs> uh, I'm going to need to get you on uh, on the Instagram page next time. You're going to need to be at that like live streaming and shit, dude. <laughs> we have to keep something covered. Account. We have to have something covering his face though. Some kind of emoji. You know, yeah. Like, yeah, uh Al? No, Al was his co-host. Um uh, hi do you ho neighbor the what are you guys which show are you guys talking about but no not Bob you remember home improvement the neighbor you never saw his oh, face yeah, yeah, he was yeah, behind home improvement what yeah, was his yeah, name okay. will what about him somebody needs, what's yeah, his the real, voice. What, that's not his actual name though Wilson 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 bro you're gonna be like the Wilson we're only gonna see part of your face that's it yeah this is 
our sound guy, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. We're going to have to get you like a stool or something. Yeah. Just don't sit on it backwards. <laughs> so Dianetics is a set of ideas, practices regarding the metaphysical relationship between the mind and body created by science fiction writer L. Ron Hubbard. Dianetics is practiced by followers of Scientology and the Nation of Islam as of 2010. So the nation of Islam pra- practices Dianetics? Apparently. I didn't know that. Wow. That's brand motherfucking new. Damn. That's crazy. So maybe Scientologist knows. Plot twist. Plot t- oh, you got a sound effect for that? With all due respect, that's a bunch of malarkey. Oh, where's the slider? Oh, Davy jerked it up. With all due respect, that's a bunch of malarkey. Oh, shit. What was that? That was sick. <laughs> that was my buddy Joe, dude. Nice. Um. So, yeah, that's the practice that that's like what he came up with. And it became like this huge, popular, almost self-help. It, if you were to match it up to like in today's terms, it would be like a self-help book. Like what's that fucking that guru? Uh, you know, the big self-help guy. Oh, Anthony Robbins. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Dude, say what you want to about Anthony Robbins. But I feel like jumping into a fucking ice bath after I watch one of his videos. Like is that good or bad? Is that bad? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you feel about that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, I guess so. But I was thinking more good. Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm all pumped up and shit. You're like ready to fucking rage. Yeah. Yeah. And no. then I and then I realized that I'm like just being marketed to like a scumbag probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. But yeah. everybody's a sc- everybody's got scum ga- scumbag tendencies. True, 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 true. At least. Yeah, I'm being being all judgy. Nah, fuck no. So, like, this basic concept came out in the 50s, I believe. It mm-hmm. was in sometime in the 50s. Yeah, in the 50s. Um, and it just started becoming, like, a movement. And I always, like, I try not to refer t- too much to, like, movies, not, like, nonfiction shit about Scientology. Because there's a lot of it out there, like, stories and certain things i like to watch that like just documentaries or like no there's like there's like the master have you ever seen the master no dude you gotta see the master fucking you haven't seen the master no i haven't oh my god was it like about ron or what well so it's 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 like loosely based off scientology you have the master man Uh, uh paul thomas anderson no yeah paul thomas anderson did it who did you know there will be blood uh so he did this movie and it's pretty much about Scientology, like um, Philip Seymour Hoffman, he plays the L. Ron Hubbard ca- like character, mm-hmm. and he's pretty much it's like starts off with not Dianetics, but like some kind of book that he releases, and you know he's there with Joaquin Phoenix, who's this he's a fucking animal in the movie. Yeah. That's like his his part. Joaquin Phoenix is a brilliant actor, dude, by the way. Dude. I, I think he's one of the gr- greatest actors sh- of our time, of our dude. time for sure. Like Daniel Day has the beginning of our time. For sure, I think. But Joaquin Phoenix, man, like not even the Joker. I'm just talking about like, like just watch the master. It's, yeah, it's insane. Like he's a disgusting sailor who like fucks sand and <laughs> he's, he's like making he makes like his own like liquor. And it's that's how he meets L. Ron Hubbard, the character that yeah, er, yeah. Philip Seymour Hoffman's character. But it's pretty much like, you know, kind of that touches base with it and i even read that paul thomas anderson showed it to tom cruise Mm -hmm. because they were friends because they did magnolia together yeah and he said that they had a really heated argument about it the movie and they haven't worked or talked since or anything like that but you know tom cruise he is like he is their like (coughs) number one like they would i think he's probably had people killed that's how deep I think he is in Scientology. I mean, uh, he, I mean, it's what, impo- what's it's to say he's not like the current Pope of Scientology? He is. On, dude, honestly, he is. He's not the Pope because I'm not sure how like, actual. Isn't that weird that like h- here he is doing Maverick. We're all worshiping him for it. And he's, he's a, a religious nut fucking job. Like he's a, he's a cult leader. <laughs> he's like, well, he's not an active one. He's an active cult leader leader yeah because he is he's a leader in their eyes he, he does no wrong he's at the highest point you could go like but you know what dude like they're smart psychopaths dude they're not going to overstep in the in the direction but that how does this sign okay so some of these actors like giovanni rabisi they're going to operate within the letter of the well, law no, but that's like it. check it out so i said we we grew up religious going to church what what have you that was like our normal life people who grew up as scientologists that was their normal life 
mm-hmm. their life in Scientology as little kids. Like all these actors, they're all they all grew up like that was their Sunday. You know, it was like the Scientology church. I don't I don't know what you do in a but Oh yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Oh, you're I was kinda, yeah, I was kind of looking for oh, it. He could tell you were, <laughs> nick, like, you were nicking out. <laughs> <laughs> was I <laughs> shaking or something? <laughs> but, I mean, imagine the life of, like, being a little kid and, like, everybody around you believes this one thing and then you're the only one who doesn't. But I guess if you're in Hollywood, everybody doesn't <coughs> believe yeah. in the same well, shit, Well, didn't you, didn't you say that it was, like, th- they were, uh, they w- or, wa- or was it you that I was talking to about it where – they believe that or they'll tell you like oh no y- <coughs> you don't have to believe it just do it and yeah, it's they say it's for every denomination they say you can be a christian like julia lewis claims that she's a christian <coughs> and a scientologist and that they're open to all denominations Juliet lewis the actress she was in uh, natural born killers i mean Mallory. It, it sells itself as a religion but it's a fucking like it's a hit job it it's is a, it's it a is hit a job ri- contract it is a rich person's religion yeah you have you you, you have to <coughs> most churches you have you tithe if you want to the shit's optional in order to move up in scientology either you have to work for them to make them money it's or you rich, give them money it's a rich narcissist yeah re- religion which is like or maybe psychopathic really it's just nuts dude it's nuts <sighs> but it's a. Uh, nah man uh, we're just well, ta- this is all legend yeah a commonly uh, stated fact that that uh, that uh, freaking <coughs> sorry I'm, I'm getting waved off. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Cecil's making. Are you talking a about? Are you talking about the people that the the people who like once they've parted ways with Scientology that stalk them and do all those things? Is that what you're yeah, alluding yeah. to? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. No, there, there's yeah. there's reports Sea of Org, dog. right? This is what we're talking no, about so earlier. No, so Sea Org, Sea Org. Like they run the hit jobs on on people. Well, no, so the Sea Org is not like an – the Sea Org is a Scientology <clears throat> organization, but there's also a building where they – there's like a building for the Sea Org people only. It's like a camp, and there's also a ship for the Sea Org people only. What – Dude, you're freaking me out. <laughs> you're standing over us and shit. It's like God's up there. Sit dude, down, dude. God. Just pretend we're at the club and we're like sitting really close to the DJ. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn. Kind of He's like, stop talking about this. No, this no, is now. I know why they have the uh, now. I know why they have the like big table so like you can't <laughs> look over it. Oh my shit! Oh, it's kind of creepy. This guy's just so up there. But like, so <laughs> the oppre- so the oppressors, the oppressors, they send them this these certain camps, uh-huh. and they have to go through all these tasks, and they're pretty much like they fucked up. So this is like their form of jail. They almost have like their own society, their own like police. Like there's they own certain roads in Hollywood you can't even drive on. Wow. So, like, they almost have their own compound. It seems like something like that would be totally illegal in California. Well, if it's a, if it's through the Christian faith or ATF in the 80s, you know, they'll kill you. Like, I, I could talk to you about David Koresh for days. Yeah, but, like, days. California is so liberal. It seems like every road would be public, and it would be like... California, though? California is very expensive to live in, and the economy sucks, but California has some of the richest people. Dude, they have... You know what I mean? They yeah, and they're carrying they don't all give that a weight. Fuck. Yeah. yeah, they don't give a fuck. They can do whatever they want. They bring uh, money to yeah. that city. So I don't even think about that, but yeah. But no, just uh, like the whole thing. It's kind of it's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. I don't. Know, sorry. Why? I was like, Why is it sad? No, it's just because it's like uh, like it. It's just its own form of it. Like it's a self-serving political system. Yeah. Right, because it's. Pawns itself as liberal, but then it'll act conservative when it suits itself, I guess. Right? Yeah, it's man. I don't know, man. It's fucking. Yeah, I just just from the documentaries and the things that I've read about what happens to people, even like Leah Remini, like, holy shit. Have you watched her see her the, the documentary? No, but I listened to a podcast with her partner. So she fuck man you gotta watch her show i think she's got like two or three different scientology shows Uh but man the first one where she's like they're unraveling some shit like scientology they're 
getting dragged, but I mean, nothing's happening. They still, they're considered a religion, so they don't have to pay taxes. They don't have to adhere to certain shit, you know, so they kind of get a pass. Yeah, that's weird. But you were saying earlier about, um, not Dianetics. Uh, we had moved on from that. I interrupted you. Oh, no, you're good. Uh, so what are we looking at right here? What, time wise? No, 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 on the screen. Oh, just the Sea Org organization. Oh, no, yeah, I was yeah. Just, yeah, I was just looking at that, just kind of, um, because I was trying to remember exactly <coughs> the exact name of it, because that Delta fucking 2300, you know. It Twi- it hold on, I'm doing the math, right? Because we're moving up from like 13,880, I think. Yeah. Right? Now I'm just going to go 2300. That's it. 2300. That's yeah. a nice round number. Or no, 23,000. Sorry. I mean, yeah, 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 we'd have to go yeah. there, right? Yeah. yeah. There's the add zero. 000. Add a zero to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But no, Waco shit, though? Have you ever looked into that? Like the ATF and everything? I mean, like with David Koresh, yeah. Did you like ever get like watch any of the YouTube? Yeah, I was glued. No, I was glued to the television when they were covering How it. How old are you again? I'm 40. Oh, shit. That's right. You're you're the old man in the room. Yeah, I am. I am. You just turned 40. Yeah, yeah. but I ride like I'm 28. Hey. I'm talking about it. The <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Never mind. No. Fucking... <laughs> Wow, boy. So, but no, just that whole David Koresh yeah. story, like just David fucking all Koresh. the all the documentaries and the interviews with the people after the fact, just yeah. talking about it. Some that that whatever that it was the Branch Davidians, they're still around. Yeah, yeah, the Branch. No, dude, they're wh- still around. One one time I was driving back from yeah. Dallas and I drove into that side road and then I drove down. It's like a side <laughs> road off of a side road. If yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, uh, in on Texas the, on the does. main road. Yeah, 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 up in Waco. Or one of the main roads. And so I went down there, fucking looped back, and I saw it, and it's still there. Yep. And immediately, man, I saw it. And, I, like, this is just how I remember it. I don't know if it really went down like this, but I, f- I, I seem to remember getting a vibe, you know? Like, not just... Like, supernatural? N- yeah, like, not just because Dude. I knew what I was looking at, but it felt... Like there was a hole there I couldn't see. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, or I was like, that feeling you get when you're too close to a ledge and you feel like psychologically you're going to fall off. Yeah. You feel that, like that. It's not even a fear. I don't even know how to explain it. It's somewhere between an emo, like a feeling and a psych supernatural. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like maybe doing some really good shrooms or something. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Did I see God or did I not see God? Like what the fuck just happened? Did you see all like the, I I added like two or three like shroom, like lover accounts. Oh, to the, to the Instagram. Yeah. To the follow. Right. And so when I, whenever we go looking, it's like, dude, because I think they're beautiful. And yeah, like, no, you're I mean, really into the mushrooms right now. Yeah, yeah, right now. Yeah, I mean, because me and my daughter watched that show on Netflix, uh, yeah. Fantastic Fungi or whatever. Yes. And uh, man, that was so good, dude. It was so good. You, what, uh, Masawa? No, the, the light. Lighter. Oh, oh, oh! He wants he 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 wants the uh, lighter. Yeah, yeah. May I see the light? There you go. Thank sir. you, sir. A little spark. Which way should I? Whatever you want. I need it. What's up, Cecil? What's up, Cecilia? Is it Cecil? Cecil. Cecil. Oh, Cecil. Oh, okay. (laughs) I don't know. I thought it was Cesar. Definitely Cecil. But uh, no, dude, I've... I don't know. Maybe since I'm not doing my normal, normal uh, eight to five job, I'm just kind of having more time to actually like look into shit. Like I just stop myself from the whole Columbine research thing because I just start going off, just researching shit for like days and weeks. And yeah, dude, it's so weird how like one thing leads to another, and then all of a sudden you're like fucking like you're reading about the hollow earth and shit you're like how the hell during the day you're watching every <laughs> single documentary like about it and mm-hmm. then by the time the kids asleep you're like watching the rest of them on your phone just going yeah. to sleep dude curiosity is a beautiful thing man mm-hmm. well uh so what happened after uh uh the the documentary like what, what was the the highlight of the documentary i guess for the waco no, oh, for Scientology? the Scientology. Would oh, Lisa no. or I can't. 
there's, remember her oh name. Oh, no, there's a, there's a whole bunch of different ones that I've watched. But the one that I always go back to, it's more of just like interviews uh-huh. with people that were in Scientology. And it's just different people like interviewing them about their experiences and stuff like that. There's one, it's like old and I think somebody like, made it. Themselves. Yeah. Do you have an example of like one of the events? Like, or do you remember like, what do you mean events? Offhand? Well, you said that there's like, a, it's like a collection of interviews of. Yeah. Well, no, just, 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 like the, one just the, the documentary. I don't know the name. I don't remember the name of it. It's like somebody created it from different clips on a YouTube channel. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay. okay so okay. it was like different scenes, but there was also some stuff that I guess somebody interviewed them for maybe 30 minutes and it's just that clip i think towards the end Uh but it's pretty much just talking about how whenever they disassociated with scientology they started like going after them they started like having people follow them to their house and you know calling their phones and weren't these two people poisoning their dogs yeah like stuff like that oh shit dude that's terrible man yeah there's a lot of cases with that actually the Mars Volta, the yeah, yeah. his wife, she was an ex-Scientologist. She's actually Danny Masterson. Why is that name familiar? He was in that 70s show. He was, uh, oh, yeah, I think, yeah. Hot, Hyde. Yeah, he was Hyde. Hyde. Yeah. He's up for charges for like f- seven different rapes, allegedly. Holy he, shit. Yeah, and one of those women he was dating is at the drive-in. Um, and was all this through Scientology or was it just because yeah. he was just no, a scumbag? No, Scientology covered it up for him. Oh shit! Yeah, so it, it's it's all a big cover up, but all these women came forward, and now they're like pressing charges, and then he could be facing some jail time. If sci- but Scientology, they they're notorious for getting out of all their legal shit. They always they're they're very savvy paperwork wise. Uh, so they've had cases like this, and they've been dismissed and settled out of court. So geez. it's Hollywood, dude. Scientology, they're not like a they don't make a couple thou here and there. They're like multi billion dollar corporation. Like, think about religions in general, like Christianity. Put all the money that all these Christian churches in the world make. It's like a multi, probably trillion dollar thing. Yeah, but I I mean, I can't imagine that the Catholic Church is making rent every month, dude. Like, they have to be, there's, there's. I, I mean, who is giving money to the Vatican right now, dude? Like, who? Dude, Catholics are strong, bro. Like. The, the, the legit Catholics, the ones that, that, you know, just us growing up or the ones that I know, they're very giving to their church. They're not, they're pretty devout. I mean, I thought like for years and years and years, the, the church uh, attendance has been going down. Church like, attendance, I think, across the board has gone down. Yeah. Not even just pandemic, just because just in general, I think. But I think I, I wonder what it's like. Like, I want I wish I could see like their like their bottom line on a chart over like 200 years. You know what I mean? Dude, I don't know, man. Some of these churches, man, just uh, in the industry that I was in, just doing alarms and stuff, I had to do them on like, I did one at the oldest church in San Antonio. It was very, very creepy in that place. Like it was, I was there by myself. There was nobody in the building but us. They were like, hey, lock the door put the key here like lock the Uh gate here's the coat like was it was it attached to the church no it was the church oh it was the church. yeah so Uh this is this was probably like a year and a half two years ago yeah was it a traditional looking catholic church with the stone pillars so no it was it was was a catholic church and now it's like um whatever christian sex still does the sign the signing and the kneeling i think presbyterian or Uh some shit oh okay but it was like a revamped from well, a Catholic church into that. We'll, we'll be good, by the way. What? Because it, it's got alternate batter, battery power. Oh, okay, it cool. It switches over. Oh, badass. Yeah. <laughs> if we lose power. <laughs> like, I'm all bragging about it. Cause tugging, I was tugging, <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm over here with this. I can't be that basic, like, from a like an ego perspective. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Don't be I bossic. Can't. Don't be bossic. Bossico. You have this whole place locked down. This is your your little baby, isn't it? Uh, it, it's one of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got babies. I got five kids to feed. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dad, man. I got four brothers. It's crazy. That blows my fucking mind. It's like, fuck, man. Imagine I've got, having I've eight got or four nine? kids to feed. He's Imagine like, what happened to number five? <laughs> what is that from? 
<laughs> I thought you were with me, dude. What is that from? I was from? like, oh, he's with me. I'm going to drag this one out a little what bit. What is that from? <laughs> it's Total Recall, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I got to fucking watch that, man. I haven't seen that in years. Are you kidding me, dude? It's like one. that's part of my, like, uh, my daily diet, dude. <laughs> Total Recall? <laughs> yeah. No shit. <laughs> well, lately, yeah. I love Total and Recall, dude. Just uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Damn. You hear that? Fucking. It's coming down. Yeah, it's the fucking acorns, dude. Oh, is that what They're heading it is? up the side of the... Oh, uh, the... Of the fortress. The, of the fortress. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know, man. What do you want to do? You want to... Ki- like, uh, what are we at type boys? Oh, we're good. We're like at 30 minutes. Oh, okay. So we're still doing good. Yeah. Cecil got it locked down over there. Hey, watching the fucking time, my man. Yeah, so, like, pretty much just, like, all those conspiracies that I haven't really been getting too much into them, the actual ones. I know the Masons. I don't know. Have you ever researched into the Masons at all? Um, oh, yeah, dude. My brother I, My brother got – one of my brothers got married at a Masons uh, – the Masons building downtown. Oh, really? Yeah. But yeah, is yeah. he uh, – well, I guess – you wouldn't know, right? What? I mean, well, is he, an, is, is, he it, a mason? is it known that he's a mason? My brother? Uh-huh. No. Oh, no. but he just brother, like no, rent, they just got married. The they rented the place just to get married. That was but it. But they didn't see like the secret sex chambers. No, they, they, they didn't see the <laughs> eyes wide shut shit. They didn't see the eyes wide shut shit. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Is that what eyes wide shut I was? Fucking is, no. That is that what there. they were trying to do on <laughs> eyes wide shut? I love Stanley Kubrick, but I feel like that's what they were trying to do a little bit. The Illuminati. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Well, dude, we can do the Illuminati. Like, like, like I'm very familiar with both Illuminatis. Whoa. Right? I thought there was we just the Jay-Z one. <laughs> the Jay-Z <laughs> one legend. is the fake one. It's part of the word that we throw around to describe these fucking people and okay. shit. Yeah. Is the Masons, is that related to the Illuminati? Some people may some say it is so <laughs> be part of the Illuminati class. I mm. think we could call them and be Masons. Yeah, sure. But I don't know if like the organizations are associated in any official way. I don't think anybody does. Hmm. So. Damn. <laughs> what? What's up, Cecil? <laughs> Am I talking a bunch of shit or what? <laughs> no, fuck no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. Chilling, bored. I see. Yes, <laughs> giving me winks. This guy. <laughs> 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 no, I think we need to talk about a little bit about uh, maybe the next episode. I want to talk a little bit about Mason, a little, a little, a little Mason. Is yeah. it a job or is it a religion? I don't. It's a it's a club, but yeah. it's also a job. You know, I'm a Mason. Do concrete mm. work. You know. Oh, you're. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <coughs> I didn't it's know what that you were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> somebody, I can tell somebody's never been on a construction site. <laughs> I, dude, I know what uh, <laughs> fucking mason is or what masonry is. I'm just joking, I'm, man. I'm juggling a bunch of shit here. Be light on me, bro. What are you juggling? What are I'm, you doing? I, I'm fixing this fucking frame over here. Oh, okay. This frame needs to move up. Man, is it fucking raining that bad? I mean, we're good on audio, but I hope the power doesn't go out. Nah, I think we're good. So what else did you want to talk about? Do you have anything on your agenda? Or was it just all Scientology tonight? Um, yeah, man, I, I thought I was going to. I don't really don't have anything on the plate. I did. Like, oh, oh, I do. But we're mm-hmm. definitely going to have to do this on another episode. But mm. I want to introduce you guys to the idea of the dead <laughs> Internet theory. Have y'all heard of that? No. What right. The fuck is when that? I heard, when I saw it, I was like, "Oh, this I think this is new, right?" And I looked it up, and sure enough, it was new. And uh, and eventually, I'll credit the YouTuber uh, that I talked to. But the dead internet theory states that because sixty percent of internet traffic is bots, okay, many of them are like starting to gain this like AI type intelligence, right? What? Right. Or not many of them, but some of them. Right. Like there's there's like soft AI. Right. It's not hard AI yet, but it's like soft AI. Right. These soft AI bots are like populating the net. And 
uh, and that paired with the fact that algorithms recommend traffic to us and limit the amount of information that they give us that the old internet that existed in the 90s mm-hmm. is dead it's like there it's not even there anymore like yeah you could go to a site that you knew existed but would you have even found that site in today's internet oh i understand like oh i found this at webcrawler dot yeah. com it's yeah, like, yeah well that doesn't even uh, exist anymore right like with the results that we were getting when we were searching for shit in the 90s were not filtered by an algorithm no they were i mean they had it had a basic algorithm but the algorithm wasn't as intelligent as it is now well yeah now it, then the purpose of a search engine was to search now the purpose of a search engine is to get you to buy shit it's to find like if i say like boots like oh man I need to check out some new boots. Right. Something's going to hear me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Something's going to hear me and it's going to be and there's 20 minutes later or maybe two days later, or a week later, I'll right. see a fucking an advertisement for boots. I'm like, oh man, I need to get new boots. And for some reason, it's maybe there. it's the camera in my phone. Yeah. It's noticing certain boots that I've maybe looked at or maybe ones that I've actually looked up. Dude, sometimes, oh shit, this is getting serious. And I might dude. have to head home to mama bear. Yeah, dude. Uh, Dad, dad's what, getting scared. What is that? Uh, what is that Amber alert about? No, I think that's a... No, 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 no! I'm not. I'm not even mad. I'm. D- <laughs> I'm just. No, like. What I want to know what it is there, says. Is there weather going down? Or? It's just rainstorm. Rainstorming, but. Oh. Okay. Oh, flash flood. Yeah, morning. I'm gonna need to head home. Yeah, yeah. Get home so, to mama. All right, brother. Well, throw on that outro music and let's get the fuck out of here. So next week we're gonna get into this uh, AI. Yeah, with well the dead internet theory. Okay, yeah, all right, I'll we're take doing the head it. on that. Thanks for having me over. If yeah, we do, if I can't make it out here, I'll uh, we can just do it on Skype. Okay, all right, and just send me this audio. Yeah, dude, for sure. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Well, I wanted to wait for the crescendo, but I, I I definitely don't want to keep you any further. So. Oh no, we're good. I, can, I just I just need I'm just trying to get out of here by at least ten. Yeah, but I mean that weather, man. It's like ugh, it's so. Let's go ahead and uh, go out on a soft note tonight, all right. and uh, and then uh, we'll we'll pick up with all the bells and whistles later. Cool, man. All right, man. All right. Have, thanks, Tittlecast people. Peace, October thirteenth, twenty twenty one at twenty one fifty one, and we out. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, stay tuned. Like, subscribe. Yeah. Rate it. Poop hashtag, on it. Hashtag Tittlecast. Hashtag. Hashtag bust. Hashtag normalize women shooting the shot in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Peace. All right. All right later, guys. All right. Bye.